Hello everyone, welcome to this very special edition of CGTN. We are broadcasting live at the Canton Fair in the very southern Chinese city of Guangzhou. This is a huge event, a trade fair that has a long history dating back to the 1950s. And this year is getting bigger because more attendees are coming over to this event. This place is drawing a very huge crowd and it's really crowded here. And to give you a better picture of what it is like here and some interesting stuff at the trade fair, I'm joined by Alex Ling. Okay, so Alex, welcome to the program. How are you? How are you doing? Would you like to say hi to our viewers around the world for us? Hi. Hi, everybody. I'm Alex uh, from X1 Asia. Yeah. So what do you do here? Um, I'm actually... Uh, attending Canton Fair. Uh, this is our eighth time here in uh, Canton Fair. Um, the, the crowd has been very tremendous. So yeah. I would just say you are a veteran attendee because this is the eighth time for you to come here, right? So four years ago, it was quite different. So what do you have to show, what do you have to show us for this year's event, what do we have? Let's go have a look. I do see a very huge crowd behind us. If we turn the camera around, we see something interesting. So that is a screen protector, right? So can you tell us something about it? So interesting. And I see the biggest crowd at this place, right? So can you yeah. tell us something about it, so the technology? Is our, yeah, this is our nano uh, polymer technology. And um, this is our screen protector. It is made of uh, a secret formulation of five layers built together okay. into one very thin piece of uh, screen protector. Actually, what it does is it um, absorb all the impact mm -hmm. okay it makes your phone five times uh, much stronger than original uh -huh. yeah you can see from the demonstration there they yeah. will throw the phone on the, onto the floor yeah they are throwing yeah. the phone yes. to the floor yes. and, and it doesn't break yes it will the cases and a screen protector will will protect the phone it will, will protect the phone the yeah and i see that they are using the phone at the hammer to hammer yes. the nail into yeah. the wood right so it works really well yeah. so probably we can try it out probably ourselves yeah. and we'll see how strong the screen protector is yes okay let's yeah. go have a look yes. yeah i do see a cute crowd now you see a wood block and they're hammering the nail into the wood with a phone at the hammer that is so special Okay, let's go and try it out. Is this possible? Yeah, I think we can use this. No, no, one more time. Yeah, I'm wondering, do we use it yourself? Yeah, of course. Sorry? You do use it yourself, right? You use yeah. it to protect yourself. Yes. It's very strong. Yes, this is my phone. Uh -huh. Yeah. So that is your phone, right? Yeah. We're going to do some experiment with your phone and you're going to do it yourself. Let's go, out. Let's go have a look. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's done it, he's done it. That is yours, right? Can I try it? Can I try it? Yes, of course. Okay. That is exciting. I've never seen that before. Wow. It's a drill. It's a drill. They're using a drill, right? Yep. So there they, you go. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay. Let's have a look. No problem. Okay. Let's turn the camera around. Okay, so this is Alex's phone, right? Yep, yep. And we are going to do the experiment, the same the thing, same thing yeah, to your phone, yourself. right? And yeah, the same thing. And this is the nail. I don't want to get violent, but it doesn't break. Yeah, as you can see from the phone. Yeah. Okay, sorry. So uh, you have one layer or two layers? Yep. Can I do it now? <laughs> no, of course not. So if it is one layer. Yep, it's still just the same. Yep. It's the same, right? Yep. The same. It's gone. Yeah, can I do it? Here. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yep. You can do it. You can do it here. So now it is one layer, just now it was two, right? So I can hammer the nail straight into the wood. Yep. Very solid. If we move the screen, yeah. Protect it totally, 100%, right? How come, like the nano technology that has been used in the screen protector, right? Yeah. Uh huh. How come it is so strong? Um, it's actually, actually, it's made up of uh, five layers um, combined together. Uh, it's using uh, military technology. Military technology, right? So, do it, you? It, it is the same technology that we use to protect helicopter blades. Does anyone you are from Malaysia? Does everyone 
use the same screen protector in Malaysia? Does it have a very big market yeah. in the country? How about in China then? Um, China, we are growing a very fast pace. About uh, we're growing uh, China market about twenty percent per year. Uh -huh. Yep, uh, we're still going into um, big cities like Shanghai, uh -huh. in Beijing, Tianjin. All this, uh, those are new markets for us. Okay. Yeah. So China is comparatively a new market for you, right? Yes. Though China is a huge market. It's a very huge market. And then uh, we, we have uh, personnel, we have sales team going around China, uh, building uh, new cities, going to new cities and uh, developing new markets. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think of this trade fair? Do you think it is serving as a platform to that, so that you can expand your business? Yeah. It's not only about China, it's it is definitely. also about other countries, yeah. right? Yeah, um, we have we have growing uh, influence in Europe, USA, starting and um, China. Of course, uh, we're looking to expand. Okay, so at the Canton Fair, I do see that you have the biggest. It seems like you have a lot of customers here, right? So can you tell us something about the your screen protectors? I know you are working on the fourth generation of the protector and other technologies that we probably could see and witness here. Can you tell us something about them more? Um, I think, I think with the with the uh, expansion of uh, mobile technology, everybody has at least one to two mobile devices. Uh -huh. So I think it's um it's, it's a great market to to be in right now, and of course we are upgrading our technologies from time to time. Uh -huh. So this is our fourth generation. This uh, is the fourth generation. Fourth and generation will be launched here after the Canton Fair. So launched here in China. 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 Yeah. I do see a lot of customers waiting in line at the counter, right? Yeah. So do you sell a lot of them? Do you sell a lot yeah. of screen protectors yeah. at the Canton um, Fair? Actually, they are buying uh, samples from here and then they will test it by themselves. And some of them will come back and, you know, they, they become deal dealers, distributors for their countries. Yeah. Okay, I do see some of the new products here lining here, right? So can you tell us something about the new products you, you have and the features they have? Yes. So, um, this is our uh, Gorilla Glass series. And this is actually our glass series. Actually, the best selling ones are the one that you saw just now is, is actually the uh, Extreme series, uh -huh. uh, right here. Uh, this is our Extreme series, um, the one that you saw just now, uh -huh. where demo, and the best sellers. Yeah, that's the best one, right? So you are working on the fourth generation. Yes. So it's what's new? Yet. It's not here yet, but so it what, what's new about the fourth generation? Uh, I mean, to improve uh, improve shock protection, and the other thing is uh, anti fingerprint. Of course, increase a lot as well. Okay. Yeah. So your finger, you you wouldn't leave any fingerprints on this uh, screen protector, right? The new, new technology, also nanotechnology. Yes. Yes. Nanotech technology is used widely like in almost every sector around the world, right? And what gives you the idea to use nanotechnology in the screen protector in the first place? Um, actually, back like four to five years ago, there's um, a flood of uh, tempered glass, you know, in the market. And um, it breaks very easily. It cracks very easily. So tempered glass are getting, you know, um, crack easily, it becomes cheaper and low quality. So that's why we want to come up with a new product to replace the chamber glass. And we're looking at the uh, Chinese markets yeah. here, right? And then do you think Chinese markets will grow larger because of the uh, screen protectors you have? Of course. Of course. Okay. Yes. There's a lot, there's still a lot of untapped uh, potential market in, in, in China, I think. So uh, that's why we are still focusing on the Canton Fair and we come back here every year. Mm -hmm. And we have new, um, like uh, new buyers coming in from China every year. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So let's uh, turn around. This is only one of the uh, places. Oh, I found something interesting here. And now we're moving on to the next place, and we're going to show you something more interesting. For those who just tune in, this is CGTN. We're broadcasting at the Canton Fair in the southern Chinese city of Guangzhou. Where now, there are altogether over 60,000 booths and 25,000 companies from all around the world are attending this year's event. This is one of the biggest trade fairs in China. It has a very long history, which could date back to the 1950s. And also, it is so crowded, so I have to push my way through. And now, we saw 
a very strong, the very strong screen protector. Now I'm going to bring you to somewhere else. As I said, it's so crowded and it's also hot, especially now in the southern Chinese city of Guangzhou. It is pretty hot. So now I'm bring, I'm going to bring you to somewhere cooler. Okay, so now we have come to this place. This place is called Vigo, and I see, I see the air coolers here. It's really cool here. So let's take a look. I see what we have here. Let me talk to, yeah, the owner of this place. Let's turn around. Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you? Okay, so I see the air coolers here. It is really cool. I think this is the coolest place at yeah. the Canton Fair, right? So, so you make we, Canton Fair cooler. yeah, that's yeah. right. You make Canton Fair cooler. But yeah. before we get started about yeah. your products, can, would you like to say hi to our viewers around the world? Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, hi, um, my name is Sohil. I'm from India, and uh, we're from Vego. So what we have here, air coolers, and can you tell us some of the features, the unique features that you have? Okay. Uh, let me show you uh, the one right here. Uh, it's uh, unique uh, because it has a patented technology, 3D. It, it has a three-side air. If you check uh, on the sides. Uh, it's very really cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So, you know, as like, unlike the other coolers which uh, show, gives the straight air, it gives three-side air. One from, uh, two from the side and one from the center. Yeah. So three-side air. So it's a new unique feature. Of, uh, of our company. So for our viewers who have never been to the various, yeah, to the south of China, Guangzhou, now it's rainy season, it's humid, hot, it's also very stuffy, right? And people would usually use AC air conditioners. So what do you think would make your products different? Do you think it would have a huge market in China? Uh, these products are, are uh, basically uh, very economical than aircon. And the power consumption for uh, air coolers are almost 15% of air conditioner. So people want to buy uh, air conditioner, uh, but uh, they cannot afford the energy charges. Uh, they can buy for air, they can go for air coolers uh, where the energy charge is uh, very very less. Also, uh, in tropical region, uh, the heat is very very high. So they require uh, air con, uh, also air coolers to rotate, to circulate uh, the, uh, you know, the cooling. Like. So what do you think of the Chinese markets? How many times have you come to this uh, Canton Fair? Uh, this is our seventh time uh, in Canton. And uh, Chinese market, uh, it's very, very captive and very huge market. And uh, we are still looking for a very good buyers. We have some pockets we are selling. But uh, we are looking for bigger buyers, yes. So we are looking for bigger buyers here, right? Okay, for those who just tuned in, this is CGTA. I'm sorry, we just missed your questions, but I've got this here. So someone says, Camille Huang said, I think I need one piece of the screen protector just now. And someone is asking, what's the brand of the screen protector? The brand is X1. You can search it, X, and then you have one. How much is it? It's around like 100 Kwai, 100 RMB. So it could be around... Let me say I'm really bad at math. So it could be, let's say, nine or ten, probably fifteen US dollars. Fifteen US dollars for the screen protector. If you like it, of course, you can search it online. X one. Okay. Thank you very much for your comments. If you have more questions, please leave your comments on Facebook and Twitter and also Weibo, and we'll get back to your questions as soon as possible. We are at the Canton Fair in the southern Chinese city of Guangzhou, where it is really hot, but I'm at a cooler place because this place is for Vigo air coolers, right? And now, just now we talked about the markets in China, and do you think this place, the Canton Fair, has served as a platform for you to expand your business around the world? Because it's not about it's not just about China, it's only happening in China, but we, I do see buyers from around the world. And how is the business going so far? Uh, certainly, uh, it's not about China, it's about the uh, rest of the world also. As uh, we see you know, a lot of other countries, a lot of people from very different countries coming here for purchase. So yes, certainly we're getting uh, other buyers than Chinese buyers. And uh, the, you know, uh, the sale is picking up because of that and it is helping. So yeah, it's a good platform for uh, international exposure. Okay, so I have got a question for you. Uh, it is from Weibo. And then the Weibo user said, this kind of air conditioner looks a little bit bigger. 
So the thing is too big. What do you think? Why did you make it so big? Do you think we should make it a little bit slimmer properly? It could better fit in a corner of your home. I would like to ask the cameraman to show the other coolers. We, are, we have 22 uh, coolers. Uh, these are the bigger one you saw, and these are the smaller one. You know, you can just see these are the very slim. You, it can be fitted in any corner of your house, and you can get a cool air in your in your room. So we have a very different uh, products uh, range from smallest to the biggest one. Uh, one you can use in outdoor, one you can use in, in your house. So all kind of all range and all uh, size of product we have in air coolers. Okay, so we have different sizes here and different kinds of styles, right? Types, yeah. Smallest air coolers. I'll, I'll just show you. You want to okay. see? We have small ones, the big ones, right? Show me some of the uh, small air coolers properly that our viewers would be interested. This is the smallest one. Yeah. This is the small, smallest cooler. This is the smallest cooler. Does it work, actually? Yeah, it's it's for, so small. For, for, it's, it is for basically personal use, not for, not for room cooling. So it's a very small, very compact, six liter cooler, and uh, can be used as a personal cooler. You can put in on your desk while you're working in the office. You can put at the kitchen uh, platform while you are cooking. In kitchen, you cannot use fan, you cannot use aircon. So this can be sell as a concept cooler for kitchen, for house, for offices, like that. You can put the cooler in the kitchen? Yes. Yeah, yes, probably. It's when it's really hot. I know India is supposed to be really hot, right? Yes, yes, India is pretty hot, yes. So that gives you the idea of making air coolers, right? Which is much better than AC, but AC consumes a lot of energy, right? I've got another question on Facebook from Rubeli Nota. And Kyoshi is asking where we can buy your product. Uh, for uh, Chinese market? Yeah, for the ch no around the world because it's on Facebook. Okay, but around the world you can buy from our website www.vego.in. You can send an email, and uh, we have a very different different distributor across the world, so we can uh, arrange to supply from them. Okay. Yeah. So that's very interesting. It's called Vego Air Coolers, world's leaders in innovative air coolers right and then we have different sizes and different styles why is it called Vago? it is a very interesting name yeah uh, uh, it's just uh, very uh, you know you can just pronounce very easily and any any people from any era, anywhere in the world can pronounce it even the child and the elder uh, around 90 years if you if your age is around 90 years you can still pronounce the name so we we wanted some name which should be which, uh, which could be uh, sort very short and uh, very quick. Okay. So that's why we thought of Vego. So that's it's easy to pronounce. Does it mean anything special in the yeah. Indian language? No, it, uh, it, it, it is special in English language. I'll tell you, Vego, it's v, v E means very and G O means good. Okay, so Vego, that means very good, right? Very good, yeah. Okay, that's the abbreviation of very good. I've got another question for you, sorry. <laughs> okay, so it's on Weibo and then 29 stool. And he or she is asking, wow, small one is cool. How much is it? Uh, this one is around, uh, in retail, around $50. Around $50, right, for retail. But yeah. for wholesale, it could be a lot cheaper. Wholesale, yeah, wholesale for cheaper, yeah. Okay. That's pretty nice. And then let's uh, walk around and see what you have here. So how is the business going so far? Uh, how is the business going so far? I do see that you have some customers here. So far, yeah, we're having uh, very uh, good inquiries. Uh, we're getting serious buyers. Uh, and uh, so far, it's very good. Yeah, we're hoping for a, a great session this year, uh, this April, yes. At this the April was a great session? Uh, we, are, we are hoping for it. Uh -huh. We are hoping for it. Yeah, and we'll have a very good session uh, at this time. At this time? Yes. Okay, so you have been here, how long, I'm sorry, how long have you been here? We've been here uh, four years now. Okay, so four years now, you're a veteran, you're also a veteran attendee. Yes. And then can you tell us the difference between the first time you came here and now? Uh, the exhibitors are more, mostly the similar. You know, we know, we right now, we practically know each other, the exhibitors. Uh, but the visitors, uh, the numbers have declined. Uh, but not uh, very much, but the buyers are still there. Uh, you know, you get a different uh, set of buyer every, every session. Uh, you know, you cannot expect the same ses uh, set of buyers every session. 
So every time you come here, you find a very a new set of buyer from a different region. Uh, so it's always a uh, you know uh, helpful and always uh, inspi inspiring to come here. So we have more buyers now or less. Uh, we have buyers uh, are there, uh, not more, but not less also. Like it's, it's it's maintaining, it's balanced. But the visitors they have declined. Okay, the visitors have declined. Yeah, we previously we used to uh, you know the we used to see a lot of people on the on the lobby, a lot of people on the street. Uh, but uh, now the visitors who do window shopping they decline, and serious buyers, yes, they are coming. Serious buyers are coming. Okay, the window shoppers actually the number yeah. of window shoppers is declining, and there are some good quality potential customers for you, right? So it's very interesting. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Very Thank you. Much. Okay, for those who just tuned in, this is CGTN. We're broadcasting at the Canton Fair in the southern Chinese city of Guangzhou. It's so crowded, there are over 60,000 booths and 25,000 companies and enterprises from different countries. And this year, there are so many different products. Some of them are high-tech high -tech events, high-tech products, and also some of the products are very tech savvy. If you are very much interested in technology, never miss our special series here. So, now, this place is so big. It is about 1.2 million square meters, and I'm only at one of the venues. And also, my colleague Omar Khan is on another spot who will give you something more interesting. Of course, at the very end of the live stream, I may join Omar Khan. So if you have any questions, please leave your comments on Facebook, Twitter or Weibo and we'll also get back to your questions as soon as possible. And of course, some questions just now. Thank you so much for your attention. Now my colleague Omar Khan is going to take it over. Omar, take it over. I'm going to see you there. All right, a warm welcome back to those viewers who have been staying tuned to the CGTN live stream. My name is Omar Khan. You just saw my colleague Lee Jianhua in another part of the Canton Fair complex. He's at an air conditioning unit vendor. I extremely need an air conditioning unit right now. It is absolutely boiling up here. Um, just to give viewers a bit of a, a description of where I am, I'm at a different part of the Canton Fair. I'm also in an international area. Uh, we're here at the International Pavilion, and this year, uh, Turkey is on display. As you can see, Turkey's all over the place here. There's companies from all over the country who are here uh, taking part. And just some background information about about uh, the Canton Fair, the way, it's, the way it's structured. It's in three phases. So the first phase uh, started yesterday. It's gonna go for about a week and a half. There's a phase two, uh, and then there's a final phase three. Now in phase one and three, that is, uh, you have these international pavilions, you have these international sections where they have country representation. Now this place is massive. I believe Jiahua mentioned that it's 1.2 million square meters in size. Uh, you have nearly 25,000, nearly 25,000 uh, different companies and enterprises attending uh, and they're filling up some nearly 61,000 booths. Uh, but more information, there's good cooperation here with Belt and Road countries. There's about 21 uh, Belt and Road countries being represented uh, by companies uh, from, the, uh, from those locations and of course nearly 40 countries and regions are represented at this year's Canton, uh, this year's edition of the Canton Fair, which is the 125th edition. My colleague Lee Jianhua mentioned that this has been an event, a trade expo, on since uh, the 1950s, but we're arriving right now uh, at one of the Turkish companies who's set up at this year's uh, trade fair, at this year's expo. We're going to hear a bit more from uh, an old friend, actually, about what his company's doing. Apo, thank you very much yeah, for joining you're us. You're welcome. Um, so you guys have been set up here. We were talking a bit earlier. Uh, come, come down a bit. I feel you're so much taller than I am. Uh, you guys have been here for a while. You guys have been setting up at Canton Fair. Give us, uh, give the viewers actually a bit of a, just a bit more history about your company. What do you guys do? What products do you guys have? Uh, we do electrical home appliances products since 1994, okay. and uh, we attend the Canton Fair since uh, 2009. Yeah, since 2009, and actually we are happy for that. And uh, we want, like, as you know, this is the very big market, and the uh, whole world are here right now in the China, and just they are coming course, for yeah. because of this fair. And we also bring our new products, new designs for the China. 
Yeah, th awesome. My cameraman kind of went off here. Maybe you can show us some of your products. Uh, what do you, you don't have to go in. Just you can you can chat from here. What 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 do what are viewers seeing right now? Now, for example, this one is the smoothie maker, which is a very good design, uh, and we sell it in the Germany. And uh, all these like products, we have our special designers, and we produce in Turkey. And some of them also we got some spare parts from the China, and uh, some suggestions, and uh, we sell to all over the world. Right on. So you said uh, a lot of your products you sell you sell to the European market yeah. as well. Yeah. What for a Turkish company doing? We have a lot of viewers from Turkey on CGTN. For you guys doing business in China, what's your guys' experience like? What is it like to to come to South, especially Guangdong province? It's it's a trade hub. It's it's renowned for that. Everyone knows that about Canton area, about Guangdong. Why, why is it important for you guys to come and do business here? Ah, because uh, as I said before, like China is one of the biggest market in the world, and this Canton Fair they made here in Guangzhou, and uh, all of all the worlds, like all the world from all the countries, the people are here. They are coming here just for this product, and uh, why China? Because China have like very good uh, market, and uh, they have like a lot of factories. They have a lot of new designers, new items. We come here. We also do the research and development. Right. And then, uh, go on, go on. Uh, you you mentioned all these these kind of benefits to doing business in China. You don't have to get into any financial numbers, but what would you say uh, for your guys' company? How has the kind of profits been? How much business have you guys got from here? Yeah, since 2009, from just China, about between 90 to 100 million dollars we did business. So, so you just said, just for our viewers to hear that again, yeah. between 90 to 100 million US dollars in yes. business from Canton Fair, yes. from this Guangzhou-based event. Exactly. That's a lot of money. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Yeah, that's true. And, that's, this is the reason that we are here. Yeah. And what do you guys, like you just said, this is the reason you're here, looking yeah. for more business. Where do you see this event developing in the future? Is this something that is a must attend for events? If, some, if you met someone and they said, oh, I've never attended Canton, Canton Fair, what would you say to them? How would you convince them? Of course, they have to come here because all the world are here, like the people who cannot go to visit factory by factory, all the factories are here. They all have the booth and they can come here and they can go to visit the, all the suppliers that they, the products that they need. Everything they want, they can find here. Even some suppliers, they can join the Canton Fair to find the new clients from all over the world. And as I told viewers, we see a lot of Turkey here today. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. Maybe you could, I know this is a bit outside of you, what your company is doing. Maybe tell us a bit more about Turkey and China and all these Turkish companies that are here. Yeah, uh, you know, Turkey is also very good on the production. And uh, actually, we want to compare with China, but it's really hard because China is very big and uh, they have like labor and uh, most of our manufacturing is by machines. But here in China, is people made it by hands and that's why the costs are a little, bit, a little bit more cheaper. And it's very hard for us to compete with China, but we are trying very hard. We are really trying very hard. All right, last question. I'm going to get my cameraman to come back. What, uh, what do you see in the next five years for, for your guys' company? What's, what's the future outlook? What do you guys hope to do? Uh, what's your goal? What's your objective? Yeah, technology is always improving, and uh, we are trying to follow the technology. As much as technology improves, we are going to improve our products, and we are going to follow it. And I think in five years, China will be one of actually the biggest the, big, the biggest market, the yeah, biggest economy, yeah. The biggest economy in the world. And uh, we are here, we came here since 2009, and we are trying to follow it and uh, catch it. Hope we will catch it. Right. Zilan products, where can I get them? Where can I buy them? If, uh, if viewers at home want to buy any of this, where can they find this? Yeah, all the internet web pages, like Amazon, uh, in other... Uh, other e-commerce platforms. Everywhere. Zilan, the brand can be found. Exactly, exactly. Apo, thank you very much. Right, thank you. It's been a pleasure. I'm going to get my cameraman to swing by. We're going to go for another walk. Yeah, thank you. Uh, viewers, we're going to continue our journey here at the Canton Fair. And as you've seen, uh, this is all home appliances. You've got ovens, you've got mixers, uh, you got you, you have stovetops. You have so much for the kitchen, actually, for the home. I know it's not as interactive as what my colleague Jianghua saw. He was banging a phone, trying to crush a phone screen. That wouldn't break. And then, of course, 
that lucky guy got to escape to a little bit of a cooler place uh, in that air conditioning company's vendor booth. Again, there's tons of people you can see around me. Uh, I think I got a few people interested in what we're doing here. A bit confused. Everyone here is to everyone here is to do business. Getting a few thumbs up from some people. We're gonna make our way over now uh, to a Chinese company and see uh, their view on the Canton Fair. Because again, we heard from my colleague Lee Jianghua from a Malaysian and an Indian, and we just heard from a Turkish company. Now let's hear from the Chinese side. What do they view? Uh, what kind of benefits do they see from this sort of event? We've kind of pre-arranged our interview here. We're looking, uh, there we go, we have lovely people here, lovely attendees. Uh, you see this company, Wen, where it is absolutely busy. There's a lot of buyers in attendance looking at what kind of deals and business uh, contracts and partnerships they could strike. Uh, we're gonna, they got barbecues, they got more of a outdoor kitchen set up here. Now I'm looking for, oh, I found my interviewee. We're gonna just take a look over here, pan over. Got some staff. Uh, meeting about possible business dealings. And again, remember, there's nearly 25,000 companies here, nearly 61,000 booths spanning 1.2 million square meters. It's 125th edition of the Canton Fair. Uh, and again, for those viewers watching on Weibo, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and the CGTN app, you can always go back, watch our live streams from before, and check out what's coming up next. But joining me now is one of the representatives from Wanward. Why don't you uh, introduce yourself, tell us a bit more about you and your company to our viewers. Uh, Wanward was founded in 1993. Now we have 26 years of uh, experience for the manufacturer of the products. Right on. So I just spoke with a, a company from Turkey. You guys are uh, based from Foshan in Guang, uh, Guangdong province. You guys are a Chinese company. Uh, and being a domestic uh, company from China, what is Canton Fair for you? Why is it so important? Uh, because Canton Fair, you know that uh, a lot of customers all over the world, they come here and to look for the suppliers, they look for the new technology, new products, and uh, Hundreds of them, they focus on the good companies, good factories, yeah, yeah. and uh, they can they can have uh, more of business and orders. It's a good place to do business. Now, my cameraman is kind of shifting us. Maybe you can show us uh, some of your products. Sh show me what you guys have on display here. Uh, for example, this is our guest barbecue grill. This is very popular in the U.S. market. Oh, wait, so some of your products go all the way. You could come up and give us a look at, give it a open, see how it, I know you can't turn it on here, but, uh -huh. so this product goes to the U.S. Yes, uh, you know that uh, the U.S. people, they like the outdoor... Uh, Cooking, outdoor barbecue? Uh, yes, and uh, now we are the number one for the barbecue grill in the last two years. You are the number one exporter or seller of barbecue grills in the U.S.? Yes, yes. That's something I didn't know. That's fantastic. That's, so the, these last two years, you guys have found success in the American market. How did you do that? How did you guys achieve this? Let's go around here. Uh -huh. We uh, develop our quality and our go technology, ahead. and uh, we offer them the good cost, the good price, so they, uh, now they, can, uh, they are very satisfied with our, product, with our company, our factories. And there's sometimes people uh, worry about Chinese quality, the, the quality of the goods. What do you say to people who have this worry? Uh, maybe Chinese quality is questionable. What would you say to them? Uh, let me get an example. For, for example, this is our new design. We get the Design War 2019 IF. Yeah. So you can see we got two awards for these uh, designs. And we have high technology. For example, this model, uh, this is a low NOx emission. It's very- The gas water heater. Yes. Just to uh, explain for our gas water heater. Yes. We have uh, more than uh, 26 years of experience for the gas water heater. And we are the number one for the last 15 years for the sales in the domestic market and the overseas market. All right, so I'll repeat that. Number one for the last 15 years sales in domestic yes, market. Exactly. For for this product. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate what you guys have, have shown us today. I uh, wish you guys a good Canton Fair, lots of business deals. Final question for you. What do you hope to get from this year's edition of the Canton? It's the 120, uh, 125th edition. What do you want to achieve this year? What is your goal? Uh, our goal is that uh, we want 30% uh, of increase from the last year. 
and uh, we want to have more category. For example, we will have new development for the other products, and we have uh, development for the high technology. So more development, high technology, and a 30% increase in business. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. We'll be, uh, we'll be in touch. We'll, we'll, we'll talk more uh, after our live stream just to get to know a bit more about your business. Thank you very much. You. Right, so viewers, you saw me, me and my colleague, Lee Jianghua, who's just going to jump in right now. Hey. Lee Jianghua, how, are, how, how are, you? are you? How are you? I was there just now, and I feel so happy that I'm here again to join you here. So how do you feel, how do you feel about this place? Well, so I, actually, I want to throw that question at you first. This is your first time uh, attending the Canton Fair in any capacity. What do you think of it in terms of the attendance, uh, in terms of the international feeling you get, and of course the domestic feeling? What do you think of the companies being represented here? That's right, this is my first time, it's so big, and I was surprised that this place is so crowded, actually. There are so many trade affairs, but this one is important because this is the first trade affair, actually, in China. It could date back to the 1950s. Yeah. Right, it is so big and so many buyers. I do see people roaming around, and they could buy something off the uh, the uh, the store directly, or they could come back to the factory. So it actually provides a very huge platform for them to expand their business, not only in China, but also around the world, actually. It is not only about doing business with Chinese enterprises, it's also about connecting different parts of the world. So I love that part of this event. And they also okay. have, uh, we have a question, so Zhenghua is going to jump on his phone. Um, go ahead. So I've got a question for you. So China has covered the business of the world economically for rich and poor people as equally as we can say is amazing like that so that thanks to China. I know it's a compliment to China. I, I think that's more of a compliment about yeah. China's 40 years of 40 reform years. opening up the economy has changed a lot but bringing it back uh, to the Canton Fair event I've been here this is my second time here and I recall the first time I visited in phase three uh, which was focusing on furniture uh, hotel goods uh, more of a interior design and at that time I didn't feel it was that busy I felt a bit more relaxed this time I come here, we're at, remember, we're at the International Pavilion. It's a bit different than other phases. And for me, what stuck out is that there's this country representation here. Yeah. Uh, Turkey gets this Turkey. phase. You, you, you saw downstairs. What were the countries you saw on your it's international? different downstairs because this place, as I said just now, it is about 1.2 square. 1.2 uh, million square 1 .2 meters. Million square meters. It's very big, actually. It is very much like a huge airport, right? So you are here. This is 5.2. I was at 9.3. So it yeah. was different. I do see Turkey, the very large presence what of Turkey. Did, well, who else and did you also see? Also Malaysia, India. I do see a large presence of India as well. Also some other countries like the United States and some European countries. So what do you see? What do you find that's different this time? You know what I. <laughs> Good, good question. Last time I came, I was more working with uh, local Chinese producers, local companies. This time we've gotten to speak with people from Turkey, India, Malaysia. I even spoke to a guy from the Netherlands. He said over the, he's been coming here for 25 years. Uh -huh. and a veteran. A, a veteran, yes. And he said without Canton Fair, this is a bold statement, without Canton Fair, this Dutch business wouldn't be where they are right now. So I think the impact for a lot of these companies, we just heard our, our Turkish fellow, yeah. uh, 90 to 100 million US dollars yeah. over their span of attending Canton Fair. That's how much they've made. Uh, we just spoke with Wanward, uh, the boiler maker and barbecue maker. Last two years, they were the leading export seller of barbecues to the American market. So I can see you are looking at appliances, household appliances, like you can see the uh, stoves here, right? But at 9.3, I was looking at some technologies like this screen protector, so strong, the five layer screen protector, so thin, and it works so well. And yeah. now I see like different kinds of household appliances here. It is so different here, up here. Yeah, I wanted to ask you, I, I was watching you uh -huh. as you were smashing that phone. Yeah, I was what? smashing that phone. I didn't do it too violently. I, 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 there's something about that screen protector that, you know what, I'm a bit worried that something could happen. Me too, I was worried. And there goes your iPhone X or your iPhone whatever or any phone you're using. Yeah. Right, we're getting a close-up look of, I'm not too sure, this is a uh, steaming like pot? A, I think it's something like a rice cooker. All right, this is, this is live action at the Canton Fair. That was the nice thing about uh, your segment downstairs. You got to kind of interact. Well, the air conditioners must have been the nice. The air conditioner was really good. As I said, it's so crowded. So they were all together, over 60,000 booths. Yep. 25, yeah, 25,000 companies and enterprises from all around the world. So it was so hot, but that's place was the coolest. Yeah, yeah. you're lucky. I've been, uh, remember, I'm up a few floors 
and I'm absolutely boiling up here. Let's see if there's any questions coming in for, for our viewers. Yeah. Do you take a look? So, for those who just tuned in, this is CGTN, and we are at the Canton Fair in the southern Chinese city of Guangzhou. So, if you have any questions, please leave your questions on Facebook, Twitter, or Weibo, and we'll get back to your questions as soon as possible. I, I know some of <laughs> viewers want to know the pricing and everything about but, this event, but this place is so big. But we're not here to sell or promote. We're not the vendors. We're not buyers. We're yeah. just trying to give you guys a look at what's happening at China's largest trade fair here in southern China's Guangzhou City. I'm quite exhausted. I think it's about time yeah. we say goodbye. Any final remarks from you, Zhenghua? Yeah, probably we should call it a day. It's so big. And of course, if you're interested, you should come here. It is rainy season. But I don't think the rainy season is stamping the passion of the vendors here, right? No, we, we woke up this morning, we texted each other, we said, are you ready for this live stream? It was absolutely pouring this time of year in yeah. Guangzhou. But everyone's here. It's, it's actually too many people. I'm not really truly enjoying the crowds, but time to say goodbye. Yeah, time to, time to say goodbye. It was raining cats and dogs, but I love this Canton Fair for this year, though it's really crowded. But also, I would like to say with a sense of condolences of Notre Dame Cathedral in France, and I'm with you guys. Yes, well, thank you guys very much for watching. My name is Omar Khan. Uh, again, you can go back and watch our live streams, and with me is... Li Jianhua. Li Jianhua. With me is Omar Khan. And with me is Li Jianhua. Thank you guys very much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.